Jesus Christ was a mushroom? A foot pretty blankly, yes. Remember, the volunteer subjects for these games are drawn at random from members of the populations of several major privatized prisons. You're gonna love my purple helmet! It's a great disappointment. We had one twist, two twists, three twists, and then the sea clamp broke his fucking jaw. Now you're not gonna get a man to speak with a broken fucking jaw, are ya? I'm Dan 1. I'm Dan 2. I'm Dan 3. Go Propagator! Now it is time for Doom Raider. There are so many ways that everyone might die. We're counting down our favorites and rating them up to five stars each in categories such as Impendency. How soon could it happen? Probability. How likely is it? Totality. How completely would mankind be destroyed? Next on our list is the bomb. That's right. Nuclear fucking weapons dropping this week to number five. Four, three, two, one. Courtesy of Dr. Oppenheimer comes a golden oldie from the 40s. Mass destruction so bright you got to wear shades. Way to go. Smarty pants. The bomb was an instant hit, and soon nuclear proliferation was a worldwide smash. By the 1980s, people were so excited about pushing the button that even Prince stopped singing about dirty, dirty sex long enough to sing a song about dirty, dirty sex during World War III. Like rock and roll, Atomic Armageddon is an American classic that seems to have died sometime in the early 90s. Although Doomsday is always just a phone call away. The nuclear option seems much less likely since the decline of the Soviet Union. There is always the chance a terrorist group could acquire one of the thousands of nuclear warheads currently in service, but not in quantities great enough to destroy mankind, unless they had the help of advanced artificial intelligence. So rest easy, humans. And please tune in again next time for Doom Raider, where we will reveal more ways your retirement may be spoiled. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Hi everyone, I'm Pearl Phillips. It's been a banner year for faithful fans of genetic flukes, with the birth of a two-faced boy, a four-armed girl, and of course, inside-out triplets earlier this spring. All of which, according to state authorities, are signs of direct divine intervention. Well, the Ministry of Biological Truth in India has announced more wonderful news. Yet another miraculous child was born today in the town of Kalpakam. The parents are both employees of the Madras Atomic Power Station, where they've been working for years on development of a completely safe thorium reactor. This most recent holy infant appears to have been blessed by little-known deities Kulra the Brittle Boned and Mumut Sattva, the god with several small perforations in his heart. This is propagator. Les officiers de NATO sont en situation d'urgence aujourd'hui pour disputer en fait. NATO officials are in emergency session today as an international situation develops in the disputed Arctic regions. Several nations have historically claimed sovereignty over the North Pole, including Denmark, the North American Union, and Tuvalu. Well, today, a consortium of legitimate Russian businessmen shocked the world when they announced that a giant new casino was open for business under the Arctic ice cap. The underwater polar resort hosts a four-star hotel and the world's largest silent wipe auction. The Canadian branch of the armed forces has promised to investigate these claims as soon as their submarine is operational. That was the news. Please stay tuned to Propagator for more other things. Once you find out that you are not interested in whatever the telemarketer is calling you for, don't hang up yet. Be polite again. And ask them for the employee ID, the full name, make sure you write it down on the low pad paper close to your telephone, and thank them nicely before you hang up. Wish them a good day. <laughs>